Thank you. Okay, we're starting another thing on the 1st of September, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It's rabbits. Um, rabbits. 2020, already oh, September. And um, we're, <laughs> we're looking at a DI plus uh, um, session. And we'll be talking about artificial intelligence in all its forms and all its, well, some of its depths. And I noticed that it's getting more and more deep, deeper and deeper. Perhaps I should have said. <laughs> <laughs> Every week, something has changed, I've found so far, which is interesting and a bit confusing at times, I guess. One of the things, um, let me have a look what I've got up set. Yes, was Claude. Have you come, come across Claude? No. No, right. Well, that was that's a, a chat GPT type thing, superior to chat GPT. And I had a go with it the other day. Um, I'll show you this if I can show you this, share this with you in a minute. I'll get myself sorted out. Where's Claude got it here? I just took the, took the boxes at the bottom. We should have um, a screen of from my computer of the how to use Claude AI and how it's different from chat GPT. <coughs> so there's a nice, nice article here about it. Um, it's uh, a lot of people use chat GPT, GPT, but it's not the only one around. So there are four things Claude can do that. Um, oh, it's called Claude after Claude Shannon. And Shannon was the man who sort of did lots of things on messaging back in the 1930s. Um, uh, so they've called it after, after him. Um, it says it can process 75,000 words at once compared to chat GPT 3000. So there's a significant difference on that one. Uh, and I, I don't like this sentence. Unlike chat GPT's free version, Claude is trained on the latest real time data, implying that it's not free. <laughs> Yeah, I must admit, I bought Sonic Chat recently. Oh, and that was forty nine ninety nine for the for the year, but it's still only up to date as at the end of twenty twenty one. So, if you want any research papers, recent research papers, you're going to have to add that in yourself. Oh, I see. Yes, <laughs> a bit tricky. The it's called well, Sonic. It, it's not so bad because I've got access to papers as well, but. You know, it's it's what it's spewing out is pretty good for posts, I have to say. Okay, well, I had a go with Claude. Uh, hello, Peter. Hello, morning, everybody. Um, we've got a, a new chat program uh, called Claude, named after Claude Shannon, oh, who okay. uh, was was one of the instrumental researchers in messaging over the over the radio and, and telegraph and things back in the 1930s, and they've named it after him. And um, if I look at this next screen, uh, let me share again, and then share, well, share back to the one we had before. So this is a little bit about it, your information. And then I went over to this one. I don't know whether you can see that. Yes. I, asked, I asked it some questions. I said, why was Silbury Hill in Wiltshire built? And this was the answer it gave. It was quite very good, I thought. Um, yeah. Then we can read that later. And I said, yep. how real are ley lines? It sort of occurred to me that ley lines are people like to talk about ley lines. And it, it dismisses them. Uh, hit at the bottom, it says, so in summary, while ley lines are interesting, there is no currently convincing scientific reason for their existence, et cetera. Yeah. So that was good. And then I asked another question. Does two to the power 87 have any significance? So I thought two to the power 87 was a pretty big number. Uh, it's a very large number, 10 to the power 26, that arises in some mathematical contexts. I thought that number sort of hit, hit uh, vaguely recorded, it. But anyway, there is no special mathematical, et cetera, et cetera. So but here are some key points um, and so on. So that I thought was interesting as well. Then I asked it to improve on it, and I produced a second version. Oh, no, well, that's something different, sorry. <laughs> I put this message in. Because I was trying to get my my wife buried in the local churchyard, All Saints, as it says here. So I wrote that I've written this to the vicar, 
this is a letter I've written to the vicar and I'm waiting for her to reply. She's on holiday, unfortunately, at the moment. Anyway, I said, improve on this message. And here is a suggested version of it. It's much more mushy and uh, it's got the wrong names in and things for some reason. So, um, so you I, don't like the version that the, it's come up with? I don't particularly like it, no. It's uh, it's OK. That's interesting, isn't it? When you say mushy, has it added well, um, well, emotional it's... pulls, you know, like, you know, feelings and, and stuff like um, that, which I think, you know, might be beneficial in some ways when you're asking a favour or... Yes, well, that's true. But uh, it's a very Americanized version to me. Ah, that's that's what I was getting at, yeah. Um, by a meaningful coincidence. I mean, that's a phrase, isn't it? Our daughter, Jane, in our case, it should be Sarah, but anyway, um, and so on. And um, great, hold great significance as we gather to cherish her memory. Very slushy, really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, and the next one was the, the phrase that I set people last month in the, in the style of a 19th century oil painting with a landscape with an old woman leading a donkey covered early one spring morning. And so um, I put that through, and this is what it resulted in, this lovely long text here. And I then put that text into various um, AI programs. And you'll be able to see the results shortly. <laughs> that was fun. In, in, in Claude, you've got this thing for copy and retry. That's the only sort of controls you've got, apart from this uh, thumbnail, which looks like it thumbs down, doesn't it? But if I click on that, it will say uh, feedback. What issue do you want to report? So that's when you've got issues. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, going back to um, stopping sharing. Going back to that message um, about the, 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 the woman leading donkeys and things. That was after a painting that's in this museum. I can get to the right place here. Um, what am I looking at? I'm looking at. I, I did try doing it. I I put it into crayon AI, and then into Photoshop as well. Right. Well, I'll, I'll show you the painting as it is. If I can share it with you again, if I can get to the right point, yeah, share. Where's it gone? Oh. Well, Diana, did you put the photograph into crayon or? The request for a I description. I put the, the, the description. Okay. Um, and I put that in. And I did get something like that. <laughs> well, there's, there's the original painting. And um, you notice it's got a red bit here and some barrels here. Two nice round wheels. So you can see her face. And the donkeys look a bit funny, I suppose. <laughs> but the results I got were quite interesting. <laughs> Excuse me while well, I have another paroxysm. <laughs> right, and I'll stop sharing now and then ask if any of you did any work on that picture or that I did. description of the picture. Right. Yeah, I, I did. Do you want to see it? Of course I do. It's a question. I'll share screen then. So right. Um That's it from script. Oh, oh hang on. So that's the script. And yep. I put it into crayon AI. And I used art because I didn't get much joy with the photos. Oh, yes. And then I took this picture and put it into, oh, hang on, into Photoshop generative fill All right. to make it, it wider. That picture there looks as though the donkey is floating. It does, doesn't yeah. it? There's no shadow underneath. No, I know. You get really weird results. And I was wondering what the, the leg... Yeah, and the, <laughs> the, the leg and tail the... at the back. <laughs> yes. I'm yeah, well, it's replacing the wheel on the other side, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the person is at the back and not the front. She should be leading the... <laughs> yes, I thought exactly that. Well, yeah, that's so the next one, here. 
That's the next one that I did because I put it through twice. <laughs> oh, weird. And I had to improve on a face because it was just all blanked out. Yes. And then I did the same with Photoshop and got it stretched out. Yeah, that's really weird, isn't it? It's done a hybrid oh. of a wagon and donkey. Mm. And um, I don't know where the back legs of the donkey have gone. <laughs> weird, as you say. They don't listen to all the things you put in. No. Wait a minute, let me switch my radio off. Anyway, that's that's all I did. But I, I thought it was interesting. Mm. Yes, it is. Fascinating, I think. Generative fill. Mm. Okay, you had great so, um Photoshop's now taken my old Photoshop off. Has it? Uh, it's removed it from my computer and it's now got the beta one, which has got the generative fill. Even if you didn't want it to happen? Yeah, I because I, I, I was a bit possessive about my other one. But anyway. Right, okay. Um, did anybody else do anything on this particular homework? No? Oh, dear. So simple. It's my first one today, so I've got an excuse at night. Yes, you have. But the other three <laughs> haven't. The other three are all shy. Well, the other yeah. two of them are all tut, shy. Tut, tut. Away from saying they've done lots of work. Oh, I better show you what I did then, haven't I? I had to have a go as well, didn't I? Um, all I've got to do is find it. That's the thing. Because it took me a while to get a picture that was sensible in, in any way. Yes, I quite agree, it was. So if I go back to that and I go to share, wherever you are. Um, well, that was That's the original. I'll put that in first and then got things all over the place. Uh, right, so that... Not working, is it? Oh, it always does that when I start for some reason. I'm going to get rid of it now. <laughs> Stop sharing for a moment and then perhaps share again. It will work this time. No, it's still not working. Oh, how pestilential it is at times. Um, at least that changed, didn't it? Oh, God. There they are. Just trying to get them to. Can you see that full screen? Yes. Right. Yes. So there's a, one of the first ones. That was done... Um, oh, this one's even more peculiar. It's a, vi it's a video. As you see by the triangle in the middle. So I start... I gave it looks the... like cows. Yeah, <laughs> cows. That's, that's off the Isle of Wight, you mean? <laughs> no, like cows, moo cows. I, I gave this particular program, which I can't remember what it was, but it's got Gen 2 at the top, and I've forgotten to write the whole program in. But anyway, there was a, one of these AI things that could produce a video. So I had a go. And this is a four-second video, as you can see. Mm. What, that, <laughs> what that bit at the end was doing, I don't know. And it goes on forever like that. That's all it does, four seconds, apparently. <laughs> Look at the, the 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 thing in the foreground. There was really weird. So that was <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. All right, moving moving on. This one is um oh gosh, how did I do that one? A stable diffusion. Um, I thought that was pretty good. Yeah, I like that one. Mm, yeah, it's good. Like the, the the misty background and the contrajour. I don't know what the other donkeys in the background. And what what was this on? Stable diffusion. Stable diffusion. XL two. Okay. Um. So that's one of them, and this I did another one on the same program. Yes, that's right. So there's another one. Um. It's not perfect, is it? But I think these this brown thing at the back here is the um the the thing she's carrying. And. Um, Anyway, she's not walking in front of it, but at least sort of right. Then another one. Um, now this was Stable Diffusion XL4, different different version of it. Um, <coughs> I thought it was very good having a light patch behind the uh, the 
the, the, the onkyo. Very artistic to. Mm. Yes, it shows it makes them stand out, doesn't it? Mm. And I like the trees and the things all the way around. The leaves look really good. And the grass. Where's the fourth, where's the fourth leg? Don't ask silly questions. <laughs> That's uh, that's what AI does. It sort of cuts legs yes, off. It does. Well, this one. How about this one then? Those legs. Yeah, that's skinny legs. <laughs> <laughs> this is another stable diffusion one, apparently. Thought I'd done it differently. This one. Anyway, again, a nice a nice scene. Um, and she is leading the donkey, at least, sort of. And she has got things in her cart, which the others seem to forget about. But the legs at the front here are really, really strange. Mm. Donkey oh. at the back seems to have five legs. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's got five legs. Well, <laughs> you meant this? <laughs> yes, that's got one, two, three, four, five, a little, and possibly six legs. But they, I mean, they're really quite good. That apart from the legs. And I've got all, I've got this one as well. This the is other a... thing that AI does, it doesn't do faces very well. And I've rejigged the faces in um Photoshop. Oh right, yes. Well this this is De Desgo. If you remember Desgo, you had some yeah, yeah. you had some joy with that, didn't you, Diana? Yeah, I used that. But i I got no good result whatsoever from this from this uh, script. And there's 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 the cart on the left, and there's about a, well, a, a mash of animal type things on the right. Complete rubbish. <coughs> uh, in Dream Desgo, you've got various versions of it within it. This is the Dream Shaper version, which did seem to be the best, and that was the best I actually got from it. Which is, if you take the horses and the cart out, it's quite nice. <laughs> There's no person there, is it, leading it? And then this one was Pixart. Now, you got on very well with that, didn't you, Diana? Pixart? Yeah, I've used that one. This is a three-legged donkey, nothing to worry about, and a one-wheeled <laughs> cart. <laughs> I don't know what, why it does or what it does do, because um, it should know that donkeys have got four legs. I know, mm. it, shouldn't it? You would think it would be simple. But anyway, mm. I mean, they the... never seem to add extra legs to the humans, though. No. Legs away. Mm, that's true. So, why would pe people use this? <laughs> Indeed. No. Why would they use uh, AI? <laughs> that might to... make my life a bit easier if you have to do daily Facebook posts. But you know, generate words because you get a bit stale after you do two or three a day. So I can see that. But pictures, I mean, I might use it if I if I was looking for inspiration, perhaps to start a, a painting myself. You know, and give yes. it a composition yeah. that maybe is unique. But I'd probably. Well, I I question the whole thing. Really, it's it's okay, but I mean. What's what's the point of it all? One might say, as far as we can, we are concerned, we don't count. But it's people in industry that are producing magazines and, and yeah, <laughs> but it's going to make me look at magazine photos a lot more closely now to see if I can spot the the leg missing. Well, look at this one here. This is pretty good, isn't it? Um, it's got the the cart. The cart's got stuff on the top of it. I can't see any wheels, but um. The woman there looks quite realistic. Talk, talking of faces. I think yeah, you know, that's a good face. This was called Get Image. Get Image. Uh, there. Tells you at the top left. And that's 768. So that's the last one. Those are my that's my strip pictures. <laughs> <laughs> this is what uh, <clears throat> oh, this program does. You, you can see all the pictures at once if you want, or you can see the the details of it, the uh, file attributes, or you can go down this way and do various other things with it, or this way and adjust it. If you haven't used this fast stone viewer, June. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think I downloaded it and it keeps opening oh, now with all sorts of other things. Well, Every time I open a picture now. 
So if I'm but, if I go down the bottom here, I can do various other things with it. For instance, I can compare two pictures. I think it's this one. Yeah, compare the selected image with another image. And uh, okay. you, can, you can capture a screen. Uh, you can acquire images from a scanner. You can email things. You can print things at various settings. And you can exit the full screen and uh, whatever. So the, I must look at it one? more closely. Yes, there's all these little things. Rotate, left, and right. You can do that if you want to rotate it. Um, that I mean, it's quite brilliant. I mean, that shows you the, the scale of it here. So you could have it at a 150% scale, just like that. So, or you could have it 10%, whichever you wish to have. So, I mean, the, there's a lot to it um, that makes it life easy. But this one, you can see the grain and the sand and everything. Quite remarkable. Oh, this this magnifier too is is, is controllable. I think you do that. Where do you do that? Um, somewhere you change that if you wish to change it. I can't remember where it is now. Smooth. I don't know what that means. Oh, you think see it just changed the picture very slightly to a smoother picture. So that's one to one. Um, this magnifies it as well. Um, and this will import photographs. So yes, I find it a very good little program. Uh, it's up to, it doesn't work 100% when we're on uh, on Zoom. For some reason it won't start changing to the next image. Right, that was that. Now then, I also got here pictures from Terry. He sent me some concern with this, which is this one. Uh, did you see this one, Diana? So I've seen that one before. Yeah. I think he might have sent it to me because yeah. um, he was illustrating how generative fill can fill in the extra bit. So he took that picture. I, I think he sent a second one like that, which is... Yeah, which... That's, that's the first one. And oh, then yes, he... that's the first one. Then he added a bit more to it, yes. Yeah. He sent those to me. Yes, the Cathedral Express. Yes. <laughs> Yes, this chap on the right is put the leg, the le left leg was missing completely on the f on the first one. <laughs> Actually, it's not. I can see two shoes, but anyway, <laughs> whoops, wrong thing. So uh, yeah, that's a pretty good job. <laughs> but um, it's not well, the donkey, though, is it? No, it's not. No, I haven't got anything from him, him on that. I don't think. Yeah, the the chap got three legs, hadn't they, on that extension? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, you could see all these thumbnails at the top, I expect. That's all I've got from him at the moment. Um, where do I get back? Go back there. And there's what I call August work. Oh, AGI, that's the next thing I'm coming to. Nothing there, as you can see. Right. Um, right. OK, let's go on to AGI then. So one of the things I was doing um, is removing moving from... Uh, what we've been doing to the next step, which is called AGI. Now, what do you think the G stands for in AGI? Graphic. No. No. <laughs> Generative. No. <laughs> it's a very ginormous. Very... <laughs> it's a very mundane word. General. Oh no. Oh, sorry. Artificial general intelligence. It's all the rage now, apparently. And it's way beyond what we've been doing, which is ordinary artificial intelligence. And I've got things down here somewhere in my souvenirs here. Oh, oh I don't know whether you can see that. Oh, yes. I've forgotten that. Yes, from the museum, I got a copy of this um, text. Uh, about the donkey and so on. And that was what was written by the museum. And I thought that would be interesting to try out instead of the text, the simple line I sent. Um, I think it produced a better result, but I can't remember now. And that was from 1872. Right. OK. Um... I think that's all we need on that one. What's on here? What's that one there? Right, 
tonight are going to share something different now, um, namely this list here. This is a little list I've compiled uh, uh, concerning AGI. And uh, Wikipedia has a very good article on it, which is worth looking at. If I click on this, you may be able to see it. Can you see it? No. Right. OK, I did wonder. Um, why can't you see it, I wonder? You should see, you see it now. Yes. So it says, not to be confused with generative artificial intelligence. How about that? So artificial general intelligence. So um, this is a hypothetical thing at the moment, still hypothetical. An AGI could learn to accomplish any intellectual tasks that human beings or animals can perform. Alternatively, AGI has been defined as an autonomous system that surpasses human capabilities in the majority of economically valuable tasks. Creating AGI is a primary goal of some artificial intelligence research in companies such as OpenAI, DeepMind, and Anthropic. So we know about OpenAI because they did uh, ChatGPT. DeepMind was the one that defeated the chess champion uh, many years ago, still the same company. Anthropic I hadn't heard of, so naturally I had to look at that, and they that produced some interest. That's where Claude came in. Um, they, they run Claude. Um, what was this one? Um, GPT-4 is now GPT-5, I believe, on the latest generation of it. Um, presumably that means there's yet more uh, information available to it. <coughs> <laughs> anyway, this article was quite interesting. As you can see, it goes on a bit. There's all these extra things at the bottom here. Tests for human level AGI. So the Turing test, which we've heard about, where um, a machine and a human converse, and the human has to evaluate whether the, they're talking to a machine or a human. And uh, so Turing does not describe what should qualify as intelligence, only the knowing that the machine should only knowing that it is a machine would disqualify it. So um, uh, whoever he was achieving Turing's estimate of convincing 30% of judges that it was human in 2014. Anyway, there are some other tests besides that. One called the Royal College Student Test. A machine enrol enrolls in a university taking and passing the same exams classes as the humans would and obtaining a degree. LLMs whatever that means, um, can now pass university degree level exams without even attending the class. That is the test. Okay, and then the next one's employment test. A machine performs an economically important job, at least as well as humans in the same job and so forth. And then the IKEA test, I thought that was interesting, uh, also known as the flat pack furniture test, where they get the AI views the parts and instructions of a flat pack, IKEA flat pack, then controls the robot to assemble the furniture correctly. How about that? Where's the missing screw? And Wozniak, I don't know what the coffee test, is required to enter an average American home and figure out how to make coffee. Find the coffee machine, find the coffee, add water, find a mug, brew the coffee by pushing the proper buttons. This has not yet been completed. How about that? Um, then so they can get a degree, but they can't. Make the yes. coffee. No, that hasn't been Sounds achieved. Sounds like an awful lot of people I've worked with. <laughs> These haven't been achieved, um, June. They've not been achieved. There's a test that no, I know. <laughs> for them to be, for it to achieve. So uh, I don't know what this one is. There are many problems requiring general intelligence if machines are to solve the problems as well as humans. For example, even straightforward tasks like machine translation require a machine read and write in both languages, whatever that means. Follow the author's argument, knowing what is being talked about, faithfully reproducing the author's original intent. All of these problems need to be solved simultaneously, or even simultaneously. Um, so that was that. So, and it goes on to be classic, a bit of history here. I talked about narrow AI and wide AI, and so there's um this this paragraph has got possibly links to other things that might be of interest. And then the feasibility, no such system has been demonstrated yet. 
opinions vary on whether and when they will arrive. Um, right. <clears throat> so most AI researchers believe a strong AI. Where's the point? Yes, there's two sorts of AI, a strong and weak. And strong AI is what they're calling the AGI, uh, can be achieved in the future. Um, but some people think that achieving strong AI, uh, anyway, it cannot be accurately predicted. So there you go. So then let's think about time scales. So as, as I said, it's quite an interesting article. Um, what was it particularly? Let's think about the weak and the strong. Where's it got to? Oh, here we are. Strong AI and weak AI. <clears throat> strong is uh, artificial intelligence that can have mind and consciousness. And weak is an artificial intelligence system that act like it thinks and has a mind and consciousness. So the first one he called strong because it makes stronger statement. It issues something strong. Special has happened to the machine that goes beyond the capabilities that we can test. Behavior of a weak AI machine can be would be precisely identical to a strong one. But the latter would also be have subjective conscious experience. The usage is also common in academic AI and textbooks. So there you are. See, it's all getting a bit deep, isn't it? Consciousness, self awareness, and sentience. <coughs> <laughs> this is where we're getting to you can take a citation if you want um, <laughs> so these traits have a moral dimension because a machine with this form of strong AI may have rights analogous to the rights of non-human animals preliminary work has been conducted on integrating strong AI with existing legal and social frameworks right now with all this in mind um, I don't know whether you watched um, a program on the BBC the other day called, um, uh, what was it called? Oh, I've got it on my, my, my other list, I think, on one, this one, yes. Um, oh, perhaps I haven't. But we'll come back to it later when I've remembered. Meantime, can you see my list again? No. Okay, well, okay. Well, the second item on it is called Tech Target. That's a, a, a program. Can you see that? Yes. That's that's techtarget.com. I can only see artificial general intelligence page. Yes, that's right. Okay, but um, I'm looking at the top of the page. It's Tech Target Enterprise AI, and it's got lots of interesting headings here. But the particular thing is this guide to artificial intelligence in the enterprise. So if you, if you click from next and previous, you get other narrow, we we're talking about weak AI just now, and here they are talking about it in more detail. And NLP, which I didn't realize, it means, means natural language processing. So you have to know all these things. It goes on with the Turing test and possibly other tests as well. Um, learning trends. So I mean, there's lots, lots of fascinating stuff on this book. 15 top applications. We have to go, you have to log in somewhere or other. I haven't bothered with that. Um, so, so anyway, got all that. So if I go back to the beginning, if I can. That's it's interesting. Really... That natural language processing is, is the Star Trek data thing, isn't it? You could never use contractions. Oh. It's exactly the same thing. Did you ever watch that? What's uh, yes, Star I think. Trek? Yes, of course. Data the uh, the Android. Who? Oh, I see. Who no, use language contractions? Um, I see. That was always an annoying for him. You know. Mm. <laughs> it's interesting that it is considered a problem still, or yes. something to be solved, not a problem. Yes. Or, or yeah, to achieve be achieved by yeah. this sort of thing. Yeah. Yes. Um, Anyway, <laughs> there's quite a lot of information here, including this person here, um, which I shall run, because she talks quite a lot of sense, even though she's an American. But you see these things around here, like computer vision, um, uh, deep learning, and image recognition. So if you like, I'll watch that now. Um... Can AI replace humans? 
Sometimes, yes. She hasn't stopped. Siri, Alexa, Cortana, and Google Assistant. These are all forms of AI or artificial intelligence, but AI extends far past voice activated assistance. AI is the simulation of human intelligence processes by machines, especially computer systems. And almost all businesses today employ some type of AI, some more complicated than others. AI can be categorized as weak or strong. Weak AI is a system designed and trained for a particular task, like voice activation activated assistance. It can maybe answer your question or obey a programmed command, but can't work without human interaction. Strong AI is an AI system with generalized human cognitive abilities, meaning it can solve tasks and find solutions without human intervention. A self-driving car is an example of strong AI that uses a combination of computer vision, image recognition, and deep learning to pilot a vehicle while staying in a given lane and avoiding unexpected obstacles like pedestrians. AI has made its way into a variety of industries that benefit both businesses and consumers like healthcare education, finance, law, and manufacturing. In fact, many technologies incorporate AI, including automation, machine learning, machine vision, natural language processing, and robotics. The application of AI raises legal, ethical, and security concerns. For instance, if an autonomous vehicle is involved in an accident, liability is unclear and hackers are using sophisticated machine learning tools to gain access to sensitive systems. Despite the risks, there's very few regulations governing the use of AI tools, but experts mm. assure that AI will simply improve products and services and won't replace us humans anytime soon. There you are. Um, so there you go. I thought she said quite a few sensible things, but was she real or was she generated? Well, she had, look, she looked generated. Did she? Yes, yeah, she, the way she spoke continuously. But she didn't blink properly and, and that sort of thing. So I think she's probably real. Anyway, so that was an interesting little uh, sideline, if you like. Um, so true AGI should be capable of executing human-level tasks and ability that no existing computer can achieve. Today, AI can perform many tasks, but not at the level of success that would categorize them as human or general intelligence. So we're all right still. Uh, um, an AGI system should have the following abilities and understanding. Abstract thinking, background knowledge, common sense. How about that? So difficult to define in its own right. Cause and effect and transfer learning, whatever that means. Um, so creativity. That I was wondering about creativity in this, this line of things. Uh, would theoretically be able to read and comprehend human-generated code and improve on it. Well, I haven't seen the word creativity used very much around here, I must admit. And that's the thing I thought we could still do better than a machine. Perhaps not. Um, sensory perception would be excel at color recognition uh, and so forth, which is able to perceive depth and the three dimensions in a static image. Um, and fine motor skills, including grabbing a set of keys from a pocket. Oh. See, um, and natural language understanding. This is NLU this time, um, meaning the processing, uh, meaning of human language is highly context dependent. AGI systems will possess a level of intuition that would enable NLU. So there you are, there's lots of, lots of st lovely stuff in that particular um, link. Now that was one link, and then I went to, let me go back to that, and then back to, Hello, what's happened to Alan? Um, go back to that link. <laughs> that was the second line down. And then I, one of the things in that list was this about IBM Watson supercomputer. I didn't know, I didn't know anything about that. So I looked at that and it produced the same, same um, tech target. Um, it says Watson is an IBM supercomputer that combines artificial intelligence with sophistication. Don't say anything, Peter. Just look at that. Just look at that. What? Not see. Just had a big grey screen. Is that better? That's yes. Better. Oh, oh yes. Without um yes. Anyway, so um 
it does uh, it combines artificial intelligence and sophisticated analytical software. So we want to continue reading it. We've got to sign in and all that. I don't think there's any harm in doing that, but I haven't done it as such. So when you've done that, you've got to read all about <laughs> the Watson supercomputer. So if I now click back to here, what have you, you can't see my list now, can you? I guess. No. Oh, well, I'd go to New Gray Share. Square. I'll go to New Share, you should see it. No, you can't. Why can't you see it? Can you see it now? No. No, you're not sharing anything. What I was. I went to New Share, I thought. Anyway, here we go. There we go. Yeah, we can yeah. see it, yeah. A generative AI was the next one I thought was of interest. So let's have a look at that. That was the same company again. Google unveils generative AI integrations for data tools. So in integrations between... I can't say anything, Peter. You know what? I've just shared it with you. And you're not be seeing it. Ah. How about that then? Google yeah. Yeah. generative AI. Uh, but and this integration between Duet AI, which I don't know about, and Looker, and BigQuery. I don't know anything about any of those three things. <laughs> so, um, so, again, something very interesting there that's going on with Google. Google are actually quite deep into this uh, AI stuff, although it's not necessarily apparent. Um, but it is. They're doing a lot. So that I'll stop sharing. Go back to my list. Um, uh, look at it myself and go to the next one. This one, artificial general intelligence. It's probably what we've seen already, is it? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, the very same program, right? Okay, forget that one. Stop sharing. Um, share the list again. So the next one was Google Deep Mind. This is part of what Google's up to. Um, also in Wikipedia. And uh, Deep Mind. Uh, yes, well, <clears throat> the headquarters are on the right here in, in King's Cross. How about that? Oh. Amazing-looking amazing building, isn't it? Can't see anything, Peter. What? I just, can't believe it. Just to list. Well, I can't believe it. I'm sharing the screen. There it is. Keep not seeing it. Oh, yeah. So Deep Mind has got a big um, place on the right. It looks like a Bing logo at the top, doesn't it? Google's not nothing to do with Bing, is it? Or is it? They're all getting together, aren't they, these the Americans? So anyway, they're doing Google DeepMind Technologies, doing business with Google DeepMind is a British, British in, American intelligence, artificial intelligence research lab, which serves as a subsidiary of Google. Founded in 2010, it was acquired by Google in 2014, becoming a wholly owned subsidiary of the Google parent Alphabet. After after Google's corporate restructuring. The company is based in London with research centers in Canada, France, and the US. So it has created a neural network that learns how to play video games in a fashion similar to humans, and, and as well as a neural, a neural Turing machine. God, that's hard to say. <laughs> A recurrent neural network model of Turing machine and so on. So that's that. And then it's got other things, conventional Turing machine. Oh, was that a picture of it? Well, that's the, the reader of a Turing machine, I think. <laughs> the old tape, paper tape. So um, then it made headlines in 2016 with AlphaGo. There it is. Um, plays the game Go. And that was the one that beat the world champion, this chappy here, um, a South Korean professional Go player of nine Dan rank. He was thrashed by this um, Alpha Go program. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's what I call a paroxysm. Sorry about that. I don't know whether you've ever played Go, have you? Any of you? No. 
well, that's what it's about. A big board with, with square little squares, you put black and white tiles on, you've got to you've got to capture other tiles, uh, other your opponent's ones by surrounding them somehow or other. I can't remember exactly. They used to play it. <coughs> um, <coughs> so you can learn all sorts of things you don't expect you to learn by going to these programs. So that's a Google Deep Mind. <coughs> oh dear. My research has taken me further still. Namely, that was that one, but Alpha Fold, which we, I think, um, Peter, we talked about in. Um, oh, is that somebody coming or going? I'll stop sharing from that. It's Richard at last. Ah, hello, Richard. He's still not hearing us. Morning. Morning. We're still not connected. <coughs> Good afternoon, Richard. Afternoon. Sorry, I'm a bit late. I had to go down the, uh, I don't know what you call it, pra pharmacy. Right. Pity. So I've now got to explain to you what we're doing this morning. Well, <laughs> don't bother. I mean, I'm quite happy to sit here and do nothing. <laughs> OK, well, did you do any homework onto the... No, I didn't, I'm afraid. You didn't? <coughs> No. There's only only Diana was bothered to do anything. I think that's disgusting, disgusting. Um, all sorts of other people that haven't come as well this morning. Um, I've been playing with my heat pump. That's the trouble. It takes up rather a long time. <coughs> <coughs> By the way, this morning we've moved on from uh, what we've been doing to another topic, slightly called AGI. So, what does the letter G stand for? Graphic, I don't know. It means general, simple oh, word, general. general. Artificial general intelligence. And we've been going through, um, I'll sh show you the, share you with you the, the list of of things I've been looking at. And here we are, the, the, this nine list, a list of nine things here. And Wikipedia yeah. has a very good, um, uh, lots of information about it. And it leads on to target, tech target and IBM Watson supercomputer and so on. We've got right down to Alpha Fold. Now, I seem to recall that we did that in Onward about a year and a half ago. I think we probably did. Um, I know that we had these um, three-dimensional models of, of um, molecules and things. Anyway, um, but Alpha Fold is of not, that's right, artificial intelligence. Developed by DeepMind. Uh, oh, this is this it's is a great, great, great screen again. Oh, I can't believe it! What's going wrong here? Yeah, my slaving away, and you don't tell me until it's far too late. Right, Alpha Fold. Right, I can see that, so that must be all right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Right. Well, um, if you remember, there's the structure of this thing here, the pr protein structure that it predicted. Um, and it was designed as a deep learning system. And they um, had two major versions. Um, one was uh, called AlphaFold 1, placed first in the overall rankings of the 13th critical assessment structure prediction in 2018. The program was particularly successful at predicting the most accurate structure for targets rated as the most difficult by the competitor competition organizers where no existing template structures were available from proteins with partially similar sequence. Okay, and then the second one, Alpha 2, repeated the placement of the CASP competition in November 2020, and it achieved a level of accuracy much higher than any other group. It scored above 90 for around two-thirds of the proteins in CASP's global distance test. Um, a test that measures the degree to which computational program predicted structures. So, in other words, they predicted the shape of these structures here, and they are quite complicated as you go on, as you can see, like that. So it managed to do all the all the folding of the proteins and so on. So we need to we're, we're switching to a different sort of thing altogether here. But I'm just pointing out this is what AI has been used for, and that was so that was one. So you can read all about it there. I'll, I'll send you this list later on. 
Let me just go back to it again. We've lost Peter now. Um, just my little list here. You should have that. Right, good. Okay. I'm so pleased to hear that you are seeing it. Uh, you're on number eight, or you were pointing to eight just now. Yes, anthropic. Have you heard that word, anybody? No, of course you haven't. <laughs> I don't know what it means. So I now need to share that with you. If I can get it right this time. <laughs> Where we are, <laughs> that's good, doesn't it? Now, <laughs> right. Whereas Deep Mind was British and American, this one is uh, solely American, but this one has the interesting benefit of being um, uh, public benefit. That is to say, they won't won't do any harm to the public. They have a responsible AI usage, apparently. Computer uh, company ethos of responsible AI usage. And uh, we've got 1.5 US, 1.5 million US dollars of funding. So it was only founded in 2021, and there were former senior members of OpenAI, which did the chat GPT, and. Uh, the principals, principally siblings, Daniela and Dario Amodai. Hmm. So they were among the others who left OpenAI due to directional differences. And um, so anyway, Anthropic is quite an interest, interesting company. And one of the things they did was produce Claude. <coughs> 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 Oh. Sorry about this. <clears throat> so anyway, similar to Chat GPT, but it uses a messaging interface where users can submit questions and requests and receive highly detailed and relevant responses. Uh, initially available in a closed beta through Slack, which I can't remember what Slack is, but um, it's another one of those things. If I click on that, what's going to happen? Oh, it's a cloud-based freemium cross-platform instant messaging service. Currently owned by Salesforce. <coughs> Has anyone ever used that? No. Amazing. No. Oh, well, there you are. Something else to look at. Here's a reference to Claude Shannon, after which the Claude chat thing is named. It was launched in. Da, 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 da. How does it say that? Um, sure, it says yes. It was used as a as a male generated name as opposed to female. You see, like Alexa, Siri, and Cortana. If you can call those female names. I was going to say I don't think I've ever met a Siri or Cortana. No, <laughs> quite. Um, anyway, um, so chat, the chat bot. It's trained on principles taken from documents, including the 1948 UN Declaration and Apple's Terms of Services, which cover data, data privacy and impersonation, impersonation. One example of Claude II principle based on the UN Declaration, please choose the response that most supports and encourages freedom, equality and sense of brotherhood. So they're all being very, very nice at the moment. Um, and it's free too, uh, as, as the other one is. But it's more powerful. Um, Richard, and yeah. where where, where a Chat GPT four or possibly five can look at three thousand words simultaneously, this one can look at seventy five thousand words simultaneously, which is rather amazing. Um, so we'll go on, Claude, in a minute. Um, so you shouldn't see it anymore. Go back to my list, and uh, we've got. Oh, very well. I had to explain all this to uh, Kelly yesterday. Oh, did you? <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> so, Kelly, June, June, Kelly is my, um, my, uh, what's the word? My cleaner. Yeah. And it's also Richard's cleaner. Now, where are we on here? Right, okay. Uh, I think we're, so there we are. Um, back to the ZDNet uh, program. Um, 
and how to use Claude AI and how it's different from chat GPT. And there's quite a lot about that in here, which you may have a look at later. Uh, later as you can meet it here. Um, you can just type thing. I don't think this particular page will work. No, it doesn't. Uh, it's all not. But you can um, easily do it. Uh, you can ask a first question. And I did that. Um, and I've got them all. All And you can retry with a little button at the bottom says retry here. And re real time deep, deep fake detection how Intel labs use AI to fight misinformation. So I thought that was quite good. Mm -hmm. Also, at the bottom of each response is a copy button. Oh, it tells you about that, yes. Um, continue the conversation or start a new one. So if you want to continue, type and submit another question or request at the prompt and wait for the response. To start a new conversation, click open menu at the top left. Right. Oh, I didn't do that. I still worked. So um, you can ask about current events. Ah. OK, what, what can we ask on the current events, um, like in the UK, for instance? What was the last thing? that Was Brexit a mistake? <laughs> we could do that, yes. Let's go off to... Probably get 5,000 pages. <laughs> so is it where am I? So, oh, here it is. I think this is Claude. This is, this is my Claude. So here we are. We want to... You said some new... Open a new... I don't want to do that. I'll lose these, don't I? So what was it you said? Oh, I... It was for was facetious. a mistake. <laughs> Let's put that wrong. A. Shall I put the question mark at the end? <laughs> right. You can't uh, see that because you've got a black bar over it. It doesn't matter. I, know, I have the same problem, but I can just about see it there. Okay. So I've, I've sent the message, I think. Here comes the answer. Reasons why Brexit may have been a mistake. I like the way they've put may. Yes. Well, that's, that's going off the top of it. There's lots of reasons, isn't it? Going on Ooh, may on. not have made reasons why it may not have been a mistake. Ooh. So you ask the question, you get the, all these different answers. So lots of economic benefits from the EU, practical difficulties in agreeing in terms of exit, ongoing uncertainty about the EU friendship with the UK, lack of clarity, uh, loses political influence, having left its seat. Most economic forecasts predict slower growth of the UK compared to the remaining of the UK, the Irish border issue in signs and so on. The UK regains full sovereignty, freedom to pursue trade deals, escape from any future closer integration and concepts like the EU, EU army. Reduction in EU immigration was a key concern UK no longer has to make financial contributions, the potential for reducing EU regulation, and so on. There you are. How about that? It sounds very similar to uh, what they spout now. Yes, indeed. So what can we ask it to do? Re we can ask it to retry. Yeah. That'd be it interesting. Shouldn't be any different, should it? There are original arguments on both sides. <laughs> Here is an overview of some of the key perspectives. Yeah, there you are, you see. Those it's are actually just filling in the bullet, bullet points a little bit more, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it, yes. I'm okay. still not convinced whether we should be in or out of the EU, so I'm not quite sure where that gets me. Well, mm. yes, you have, to, you have to weigh it up, Richard. That's, these, these are the arguments for and against. I think looking at those, why it might not be a mistake to see if any of those have come to fruition. Well, regaining be national sovereignty. Control over think... immigration. Mm. I'm mean, yeah, sure we've got Trade that. regulations don't appear to be appropriate. Or Which... may not be a mistake. Uh, well, I yeah, I'm, we're still having trouble with the Irish border, aren't we? So... Yeah. Interesting. Free trails globally, but we can't even get over our own yeah. part of our own island, like I island or Great Britain, I suppose I should say. So well, do you think any of the politicians have got AI connected to glasses that they can see them um printed out on the inside of their glasses when they're in these debates? Uh -huh. That might be the next step, <laughs> mightn't it? <laughs> 
AI is giving them all the answers to the questions. Exactly, yes, I'm sure it does, yes. Well, they have the storyboards anyway, don't they? Um, somehow. Yes, very good. Any other uh, any other interesting question to ask? I asked all these questions, Richard. Who will be the next James Bond? Oh, is that political? No, no. We, all, we already know that, don't we? <laughs> Do we? I think so. So who you're going to tell I, us? Who is? I can't remember, first... but it's been announced. No, I missed it. Gosh. Yeah, well, that was on the news. <laughs> this morning. That's pretty, pretty. Um, there you are, Hat Hatsune Miku. <laughs> but what you didn't ask is whether the uh, uh, any of the ministers had AI attached to their glasses. Oh, well, let's yeah. this. This, this was the news <laughs> this morning. So it's, it's, I was trying to get some really current news. Oh, I see. So this is really current. It only happened to as far as I'm concerned today. So Hatsune Miku developed a singing voice synthesizer about in 2007, 2007. <laughs> the vocaloid stuff and so on, became a popular virtual idol in Japan, I suppose, and made her live to concert David. Well, she was signed up today about to, um, that's not mentioned, is it? Um, anyway, um, so what were you saying about Richard? Well, I was only, I mean, the, the remark was, do MPs have uh, AI available to them, I suppose? Yes, MPs have AI available. At meetings? When, yes, I stopped that wrong. <laughs> um, at meetings, um, yeah. yes. Um, that's That'll do. At interviews, perhaps, maybe because that would incorporate. Yeah. Didn't put the question mark. No, MPs do not have any. No, I, was, uh, I don't believe <laughs> that either. <laughs> there are some key reasons why not. They don't. Um, because they can t talk to the integrity and authenticity. <laughs> Well, you can't rely on this AI to give you the correct things. Ah, um, but MPs lie by definition. Therefore, they don't <laughs> need it, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, no official guidelines or parliamentary rules that provide no assistance. This would be unprecedented allowance needing extensive debate. Media disapproval. Journalists would strongly disapprove of MPs using real-time AI assistance. It would be considered unfair and undermine the interview process. <laughs> the voters expect the elected representative to communicate sincerely using their own competence and judgments and not rely on crutches. Yes, quite right. What a silly question to ask. <laughs> I'm not going to we've, we've the answer. Seen, is we seem to have got distracted from digital imaging. <laughs> yes, we have. Uh, that was the whole point of today, to get distracted. So, <laughs> so we could say, um, um, I'll tell you what, this is, uh, will the U3A day be a success? Huh. Oops. I doubt it somehow, somehow. It might not have heard of the U3A day. Oh, I've not heard of a new U3A day. Oh, well, you're, are you a member of the U3A? I am, yeah. Oh, well, you should know about the U3A day. There's a big day coming up sometime. It was meant to be last year and it got cancelled for some reason. So they're redoing it this year. It got cancelled because the Queen died. Oh, that was, a, yeah, that was the reason. Um, so they got the U3A with capital letters, which is, of course, not right. Uh, I do not have enough information that will be a success. Have we, here's some factors that will make it. It's got the University of Third Asia in there. Look, a strong organization and promotion, getting the word out clearly about the event. Ah, yes. Right. The U3A in capitals used to be the case, though, didn't it, Peter? Oh, yes, I know. I really wish it was. But is it harder to type? You must admit. Well, yeah, because you don't know, press the uh, cap stock or. 
And you mustn't have key. you mustn't have the shift key down when you try to do the word, letter three, the number three. I mean, true. It comes out as a pound symbol. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, um, so that's that. If you don't know about the, um, um, I'll look it up. Don't worry. Yes, it's, it's it's been ch chatted about for a long time nowadays. I well, uh, I've only been a member since mid June, so. Oh yes, that's a very good excuse. <laughs> Where am I lost? Track? It'll We're... probably come up at the next meeting. Where are we? I'll get back to you. Um, I'll zoom. There we go. Oh, what nice going on around here? I've lost you at the moment. I've done something funny. Um, it's gonna... And we all choose our own day. Uh, let me get rid of that. Oh, wait, I can't get rid of that. New share. Oh. Oh, if you are typing U3A and you have the shift lock key down, then the three will still appear as a yeah, three. It yeah, it will. Well, I've I've um, blocked my uh, capital lock thing to work. I have to hold it down to get capital lock, capital letters. Well, Otherwise, so everybody else. No, but I mean, I can't accidentally do it. Is what I'm trying to get to. I have to deliberately do it, and I have to hold it down while I type capitals. If someone like Terry writes lots of things totally in capital letters, for instance. I, I would have a hell of a job doing that without changing the computer back again to normal. Mm. But I don't have capital letters as a normal thing on my computer. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, right. Um, we've done everything on my list. Um, Except I had this program uh, on the BBC. Let's, let me go and find that. That's a, a, what's this remote control program? Oh, oh, it must be to do with this. If I stop sharing, perhaps that'll go away. Yes, okay. Now somewhere I've got this uh, link to a program on the BBC, which was on the other day. What was the program called? That was the critical bit. Um, where did I put it? Oh. Um, got a letter from um, Rebecca, my, the vicar. What does she say? Please oh. come to church. Oh, sorry. No, it was <laughs> to do with burying Sheila's ashes. And she's, she sent me the email. She was supposed to be on holiday uh, or away. Anyway, um, that's not what I'm after. What I'm after is a programme that was on the BBC the other night. Um, did I keep a link of it somewhere? Uh, I can't find it. Um, I'll have to go to the B actual BBC, won't I, to see it. One of the other things that was on the register this morning was AMD have banned China from using their AI in their chips. Oh. It's the AMD chips. I don't know what they're using it for because they're graphic designers, aren't they? Graphic display people. Oh, oh. Can you ban somebody from using something that would appear to be freely available? Ah, very good question. It was Storyville, uh, a program on Storyville. Um, oh, wretched things going off in the wrong direction. So I need to get to Storyville somewhere on the BBC. I found one version of it on Oppenheimer. But that was a, a little bit while ago. Um, so there must be some other ones of Oppenheimer. Oh, here we are. Found it. Right. So let, let me go and show you. Hostage in our home. What? Oh. I need to find that house. I'm not sure what that's about. Wolf. Watch now on BBC iPlayer. Story of the old human. This one here. It'll get it'll get there in a minute. Um this program, I don't know where you watched it, it's an hour and a half long, I think, 95 minutes. Uh, don't, this... don't have a television. Well, you can watch this whether you're... ability to understand. We've passed on what we know to machines. The rise of artificial intelligence is happening fast, but some fear the new technology might have more problems than anticipated. We will not control it. 
Anyway, this program is is remarkable in so many our, ways. Who your family is, where you have visited, where you stay, your social media profile. Palantir gets all of that and is remarkably good at structuring it in a way that helps law enforcement, immigration authorities, or intelligence agencies of any kind track you, find you, and learn everything there is to know about you. Yes, that's the sort of thing that AI uh, intelligence will be doing shortly. I'll put a stop sharing. I could probably send you a copy of that, if you like, um, as, a, as a link that you could download with um, whatever it's called. Um, it must have been nearly over, Peter, because the, uh, the arrow on the, it was way past the middle of the screen. Oh, I, I, I scrubbed it along. I shoved it along from the beginning. Oh, I see. All right, fair enough. So I could see a little bit of the middle of it. Uh, so did it start with a... I'm guessing it does. Is it I Human Storyville? Yes, exactly. Yeah, okay. I've got it on on my phone. I'll watch that. It's a very sobering program, Richard. <laughs> It'll be right up your street. Your pessimism will be uh, will be <laughs> is correct when you read. Uh, of course, that, you, watch <laughs> no, you don't think I'm. I, I'm always correct. You should know that. Because <laughs> <laughs> we've watched enough sci-fi films in the past to know what's going to happen. So anyway, I can recommend if you can't see it, find some way of seeing it. So if I can find some way for Alan and Maureen to watch this, or not, can I be able to watch it on their computer? Yeah, I think you could. Yes, you can get it on your you computer. Can I play it on the computer? Yes, I'm on my computer. I, I didn't. Yes, yeah, do it on your computer. Don't you need a TV license to watch iPlayer? No, 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 you don't. Just tell them you've got one. No, you don't need it for iPlayer, I don't believe. Uh, you do, I'm afraid. <laughs> really? If you just say, yes, you've got a TV license, it doesn't care, it carries on. And I haven't paid for a TV license for uh, years. <laughs> really? I'm still waiting to be caught. <laughs> <laughs> well, fancy that. Here's me paying lots well, of money. Put it this way, when they decided that people over 75 weren't going to get a free one, I decided I wasn't going to pay. Fair enough. You're very poor and... Um, Absolutely, I'm broke. Yes, <laughs> have you seen broke. that film called The Duke? The Duke? Have you seen The Duke? Um, the film? Seen he it. he, he right. refused to pay for his um, TV licence as well and he got caught. But he, he um, took the bit out for BBC and he just used ITV. Yeah, but that's still breaking the law because it's a receiving license. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Yes, that's true. So you can't yeah, watch so any license to receive broadcast signals, not to receive BBC. Correct. So at the beginning of this film, they showed the little van going around picking up everybody that's got their television on. Yes, well, yes. Way, they can park outside my place if they like. They might get mowed down by a few lorries, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, so that story, well, I thought it was a fascinating thing. Um, now what else have I got on here? That's a scene. This one, uh, I've seen that one as well. Um, I think I've got to the end of what, what I was going to do today. Um, unless anyone's got any brilliant ideas for extensions, what should we do for homework, for instance? I think we should get back to some more reality rather than uh, artificial well, intelligence. That's going back next time. What about uh, homework for this coming month? Yeah, How about we just read some of those links? I think, yeah. the, I think the script that I sent you last time, uh, if I send you a different script, um, they get you to do that instead. And if you delve into Desgo, for instance, um, uh, there's lots of variations of that, and you can get all these um, what they call the models. These um, that's not the right word. Uh, oh, I forgot the word now. So, well, let me have a look at the thing. I see. Oh, the only way to do it is to do it, isn't it? So if I go to, to Desgo on here, oh, it's one of my one of my list, isn't it? Just remembered. Where's my mm. list to? There it is. Yes. Um, 
that's the wrong list. Ah, drag. Um, go back to a previous, the one called AI Links. That's right. So, um, there's go. Here we go. It's on here somewhere. Right, that's the one. Yes, so if I now share that with you, he said somehow or other. What's that? Why is that doing such, such a funny thing? Um, Have you tried cat and flower in the crayon by any chance? Uh, do what? <laughs> well, I put in, you know, I was using crayon to show Kelly. So oh. I asked her what to put in. She says cat and flower, but it never mixed the two. It always put a cat and a flower separately. But it did actually produce both things on the screen. But it needed the and, interestingly enough. Well, this is, this is Desgo. And um, you put your script <laughs> You put uh, some sort of script. Sunny day, for instance. Simple thing like that. Then you choose the model. And Dream Shaper worked the best for me. But there are lots of them. There are all these and all those as well. So... You could have it as a as a thing like that, waifu. That's a cartoon, isn't it? Stable diffusion uh, that does faces quite well, apparently. Um, why there are so many of them? Nightmare Shaper, Epic Diffusion again. This is Dream Shaper eight, Dream Shaper seven, and so on. There's lots of Dream Shaper ones. There's Deliberate and Anything. That one, for instance. So if we did that one, and then you can. Um, I think you just click run and it, it produces a picture or rather more than one picture very often. It does it fairly quickly. There you are, that's using that particular model, Anim as they call it. So if we change that to um, Dream Shaper 5, not that I know what that does. Or you can you, you can when you do in the more options you can you can num change this seed number. I haven't found what yeah I'll see what actually it does. Come on, hurry up. Hurry if up. you put in the same seed, does it produce the same thing twice, as in uh, Diane's elephant, for instance? Elephant, yes, we could try that in a minute. It's taking a long time to do this one, isn't it? And all I've done is change it to a different model. Obviously, it needs more um, more intelligence. It's a nice picture, this silly anim picture. It's nicely done. Um, I would have thought the C was the site number in the overall number of the pictures that it produces or can produce. Yes, I noticed it sometimes said 200 pictures or something to go, and then you see that number whittling down until you get down to four, and then they show you the results. But that's not on this program now, is it? No. You can download this image, look, quite easy. So oh, yeah. And I can, it seems I can do any number of them, but I've never really got a good result from Desgo as such. I don't know what it's doing at the moment. And this this count, you see, available in power mode. No, we haven't got power mode, but there's, oh. Oh. That's what it produced. So well, it's, a sunny day is a sunflower, is it? Yes. <laughs> yes. And the models are called Laura's. Um, that stands for something. I've forgotten what it was. So you can you can set up Laura. Um, that's Laura one. Um, Got a strength of point seven. Yeah, I know. There's all sorts of things you can do with Laura two. Um, strength seven. How do I change it? Um, like that should move it. Yeah, that's how you do it. Um, so then that's okay, and then it'll often do that all that again. So then you can change the width and the size and the resolution here. I think they call it that. So you can have it a landscape or a square or whatever. And then you have all these negative prompts, which is very handy. This list of negative prompts is very handy for putting into other things. So to do that and then copy it, copy that. And then you can paste that into uh, other programs so that you don't have poorly drawn faces, out of frame, extra limbs, and so on. So you can actually ask for not extra limbs. And you don't want it disfigured. You don't want it deformed. You want the body out of the frame and so on. So that was quite a sensible less little thing of negatives. Um, uh, this one's uh, guy, uh, just how much AI tries to fit the prompt. Higher equals stricter, lower equals more freedom. 
So a sweet spot between six and ten is for extreme values may produce more artifacts. Then that, then that's then that's there's a sample defines a sampling method. So we've got versions of that as well. You see, so it's an incredibly complicated program. This when you when you delve into there's it. a seed that you can actually put in if you wanted to. Yes, I, oh, I've forgotten that. Yes, just here. So I, I put in. I see what the seed for the sunflower was and put that in. It's a very big number, isn't it? Oh, not the, not, I don't want the um, colon in, do I? Or do I? I think so. Copy, right. So put that down to here. And you want me to run it again? What have I changed meantime? Nothing much, I don't think. He wanted to produce another sunflower. It's quite a good sunflower, isn't it? Yeah, though, it's, it's, it's got a flower in the middle, in the middle. Well. Mm. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? Another flower in the middle, yes. So, um, is it, right? is it done? It's done it already, Richard. It hasn't I don't really changed it, has it? Didn't it? do very much, then, did it? The middle's um, changed. The same changed. Did it, right, okay. Uh, actually, you should better see all of them. Um, it usually shows you all of the versions. I can't see that. But if we change the this number, if we say took off the last digit, that's shorter and everything, what happens now? So I've got a that six is missing now. Talking of sunflowers, did you see the news last night, the southern news? Uh, can't remember. Sunflowers of all different colours. Oh, no, I didn't see that. They had red ones and orange ones and yellow ones. Farmer who was growing them said it was the first year he'd actually experimented with growing different coloured uh, sunflowers. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, this is Des Desga, which is um quite a powerful program. That's, That's different. Yeah, just change that one digit and produce a whole um. Field of sunflowers. Yes, quite like that. That's a nice field of sunflowers, right? Mm. Yeah, so they are. It's a, oh, oh, it's but... a sunny day, not, not a sunflower day. <laughs> How did we get onto that? Um, I don't know. Anyway, I've, what I was trying to show you, these different models, um, all these different versions of it. So you could have, the, if you just leave everything else the same and just change this to... Uh, what did you say? Was a nightmare shaper? Yeah, try try the nightmare or the next one down. The night, next one down. Yeah, because she had straight hair with no. Uh, this one. Uh, yeah. Stable, Stable diffusion. diffusion. That one. Yes. All right. Let's <coughs> go. <coughs> Drink of water. That's better. You know, Albert Einstein once said that creativity is intelligence having fun. So it will be interesting to see what AI does creatively. Yes, I, I think so too. Get the um, concept of fun. Um, do you think this is this image here is creative? Um. Oh. That's the new oh, one. Oh, that's interesting. Not no, no, sunflowers oh. anymore. Okay. Well, it doesn't have to be sunflowers. I just, I just no, said no, it's really oh. not. But it is interesting how it's changed. Type it. of picture. That must be to do with the starting point we put in. No, this this stable diffusion is is what's changed. That's the only thing that's changed. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, it's still trees, blue sky, and flowers. Yes. You know, yes. And that may be to do with the start point or whatever we call it. Did, did you leave the same seed number in? That's what yes. I meant, the seed yes. number. The seed number is exactly the same. I'll take the four off and do it again. <laughs> you do want to make, make it work hard, don't you? Well, I'm sure I was making it easier. Just think how much power we're using in a, a supercomputer somewhere. Yes, true. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you ask Google a question, ah, that's happening. Google's got all these extra bits nowadays. What was that? Google Labs was another interesting thing, but there are many other Google things going Google on. Google Scholar. 
Yes, I, oh, I haven't looked at that. Oh, that's worth looking at. What do they do? Solve mathematical problems for your homework? <laughs> well, no, it's a source of lots of um, scientific papers. Oh, and I could use this for, for my teaching then. Mm. Obviously, but it's really, oh. Oh, a golf course by the look of that. What was the difference there? We just we well, just the four put one letter on one oh, digit. Oh, oh, it was remove the remove the six, uh, four or whatever it was on the end. So yes, it, it's actually quite reproducible. This particular program, Desgo, isn't it? Yeah, doesn't appear to be. So if I did it again, it would run. It produced exactly the same result if I run it a second time. Or well, would it? I wonder if it does. Oh, well, we did that. We did that earlier, Richard. Oh, Isn't that's that? right. Okay. Uh, if we set up Laura, we might better get a different strength, for instance. Um, do we want it weaker or stronger? Oh, let's try it on, on one. Um, okay, that's one. I assume it's still one. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm sure that the camera club will never know this is not a photograph. <laughs> <laughs> CERN managed to actually produce a my cut down picture with extending the sides a satisfactorily interestingly enough. Well, talking of gen you could have generative bits on the left and the right of this picture, couldn't we? I mean the tree on the left is missing its left side, isn't it? Yes. Um come on, it's queued at the moment. I think you altered it rather a lot then. Oh, it looks exactly oh, it the same. Run. Yes, it's exactly the same. As far as I can see. I think the tree on the left-hand side might be sharper. It might be. But anyway, um, that's by just changing the, the strength of Laura. Yes. Uh, yes. What is Laura? A Laura is an extension that modifies the behaviour of AI to teach it new concept, style, character or object. You can import Laura's from Civit AI into Desgo. Just copy SHA-256 hash of the Laura you want to import. Is that clear? Absolutely. I don't know what it means. <laughs> and paste, it, paste it below and it will be downloaded automatically on the fly. Make sure you, it is of the type of Laura base model, that thing there. Uh. Shall we have a go at that? Oh, what fun. So I've, I've gone off to another website, wherever that's got to. Where's it gone? That's not the one. I've lost track of where it is now on my on my list of things at the top. Oh, I've, I've put it at the bottom. Ah, it's covered up, I see. Um, so we're looking at that point. I no, we're not. That point, yes, here we go. This is a Civita. So we can choose a model out of all of these lot here. Lots and lots and lots of them, I think. Um, how about this one on the right? <laughs> <coughs> SDXL training contest. Uh, how about this chappy here on the boat? Yeah, that would be quite nice. Try that one. So but is it the right number? SDXL01. One zero. Oh, yeah. I forgot the what were the instructions? Let me have another look. Uh, it says um, just copy SHA 256 hash of the Laura you want to import. Uh, what? <laughs> Where do we do that then? Where's the. Is it you have to put it in the top here? No. Or up here? What's that do there? Plus. Upload a model. Upload a model. Ah, if we if we wrote our own model, we could do that. Um, I don't want to do that. I suppose I better sign in. Perhaps I use Google. Oh, drat! Lost lost it all now. Um, verify your account. Oh, blast! I well, decline that. What happens? Is it any, it still says sign in. Oh well. Um, explore all models. 
So as a newbie to this, what are the models? Is that just a style that you want to produce in or? Well, yes, if we go back to this previous one, it says, what is the Laura? These are the models. And um, uh, in in Desgo, it's got a series of them already built in. Yeah. And I, we've shown one or two. But you oh, I see. Choose, so you can import you more. Can, but you can choose, choose a different one. Yes, you go into this bottom page, set up. You can set it up. That one's Laura. Well, let's go back into the one you were just looking at and just try okay. importing one of those models. What's this chart? chart what does it? I'm trying to understand what this means. Paste I don't it. know. Oh, let's have a look at this example then. Um, there must be some sort of code attached to the module that you were looking at. Maybe you haven't clicked right, on it. Like I didn't even know who my customers were. Oh, this rubbishy woman again. No, no, I'll keep hearing her. Skip. Right, so, ah, here we are. Need need the sound now. I've lost it. Oh, go away. No thanks. Sound. There wasn't any sound. You're supposed to follow the script somehow or other. So let's go back to the beginning. Now that's where we were. We could choose any of those. I'll just enlarge it perhaps. So then uh we've done all that, haven't we? Oh no, it's going to draw. How we put the other ones in from the other program? This is this is how Desgo works. So we know all that already, don't we? Steps. Yeah, we so we've got the we've got to input one of the features from the other program. Uh, what? Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. No, we've got to input one of the other pictures from the other program they were telling you to do. What can you see on the screen? Uh, the pink. Girl, it's generated now. Uh, black screen coming up. Ah, oh, there are lots of pictures. On to Civit AI. This is this this particular thing is where all the models are kept. Um, apparently, oops, it's disappeared again. I didn't do that. Lucy, not Lucy here. Um, cyberpunk edge runners. Should be Busty rather than Lucy, I think. <laughs> <clears throat> Make me laugh, please. I'll get these paroxysms. Oh, this is where the shark. Oh, it's gone. Hold on. Let me just put that at the top so I can drag it back a bit. Charles still in there. Yes, there we go. Um, yeah, it's gone again before I've had time to look at it. I'll try and pause it. Somehow or other, we got to this page with that all on it. So then we could we, somehow we get on one of these, we can pinch the SHA 256 which is what it said didn't it so yes yes right copied then go back up to back up to desgo yes i see well i think do you understand that yeah i think so then you've got to paste it into that somehow let's get rid of that um um where was it then how do you that's what we just did wasn't it um <laughs> I, oh, I shrink that perhaps it might help. That doesn't yeah. help, does it? No. Um, I've got to go to a different one of these. I think uh, there, that's where we've got to go. Right, that's where we start with. You're not sharing mine, Peter. Oh, am I not? Sharing, how do, I, how do I share now? I can't see a share button all of a sudden. No, we put your feet here, may stay on the bottom of the screen. It doesn't matter where I put it. Um, I can see you now. Like, can I see share now? It wasn't what I was looking at at all. What was I looking at? Um, this one here, is it? That's, oh, that's better, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So then we went from there to this thing. And then we went to Civit. Uh, there. Can you see all this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then we get to featured models. Double express. If we click on that, for instance, do I, where do I get this other page we had on? Ah, there we are. But it doesn't say it doesn't it's got the wrong thing on there, hasn't it? Ah, there we are. That's SHA two five. Right, so click copy on that. Back to um the other one. Oh, that's in the way now. Uh back to which one is it? That one? Not that one, that one. 
No, not that one. That one. Right. Here we are. I've, I've copied it. Then it I says... you got to paste it in. Paste it below. It will be downloaded automatically on the fly. So is it down here? Wait a minute. Where do I paste it? I'll paste it here. My key. I've got it. So therefore, I then press tab. Is it doing it? I wonder. Well, it's going to strength one, but I don't know what it's doing. Well, that's because I set it for um, the previous this this picture on the right. Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, so it hasn't changed that, but this is the presumably. Have these... you got to say go on that one? Scroll down here. Yeah. Oh, okay, down here. How about that? So um, then I need to type run, don't I? Yeah. It hasn't got it here. Well, perhaps I've done that wrong. I should have. Um, is that where you should have typed it in? What was it anyway? It was the, which one was it? That one? No, not that one. That one. That one. It'll be on your clipboard, wouldn't it? Double concept. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's different. Oh yes, it is. But that's not what we want. We want a double, double clip. Whatever it says. Should be on presumably on this list. I can't see it. That's the whole list. So I don't quite understand whether we've done it right or not. So there you are. There's a bit of homework for you to produce a different Laura and make it work. Whether this has worked or not, I don't know. Certainly a different picture. Any ideas? No. So let's think. We've got that. We've got that. <clears throat> Considering we're not signed in, doing all right, aren't we? <laughs> the AI, right. the AI used to generate this, the artificial intelligence used to generate the image. So, let's go back again. Oops. We got it from going to. Where do we get it from? We lost track of the starting point. We do uh, have to put it in where it's got the Laura. It's somewhere here. It's got yes. a dream shape. There. Do you have to paste it in there? Well, there's no way of doing that. You can you just click. Oh, that's it. Oh, this is where we do it. Yes. So you click on if take, if take, if take a different one. That one. Then click on it. I should get. Sorry, click on it. I still get this available. Yes. Yeah. And then you click on that. I think. And there's the thing that I downloaded. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So why didn't that work? Well, but it produced a totally different picture, isn't it? Mm, yes. Um, paste it below. Uh, I make sure it is the model base model SD 1.5 and size 150 MB. How do I do that? I do it. It is of the type that. How do I find that? But let's have a look at this example again. We go to a different page, and we you can see this. Same seed number. How to get the most of Grammarly oh, free? Oh, shut up, it's shut Kayla, up. on behalf of Grammarly. Thank you. Yes. Oh. Today's the. Hi everyone, Kevin here. Oh Today, no, not you. We are going to look at. Yes. Well, how about that? PowerPoint skills are there, and no, that's not what I wanted, was it? Thank you. Hi everyone. No, thank you. Ah, oh, here we are. <laughs> Oh, so tricky to get everything right, isn't it? It's whizzing about, right. There's no text, no sound of this. It's just a problem. So it's gone to any anything there, down to... Well, this is just telling you all the parameters on a normal screen. C number, steps. Very carefully adjusted to 20 for some reason. And did it run? Yeah, and then produce that. But if we wanted to change from that to Laura, yes, that's right. Then you click on that. Then you go to Civita AI. Oh, press all time. Oh, I didn't do that. Laura, Civita all time. Yeah, well, I thought we were on that anyway. Perhaps I didn't do that. Then you get that. Download. Oh, I didn't see that bit at the top. It says download. It's a lot I missed out. Yeah, not only that, it's enormous if you look, well, 100 of megs. No, it says 144. 
Yeah, that's what I meant. If that was a different thing at the bottom there. So you paste that into there. Oh, it's so simple, really, isn't it? Then you click OK, and then it'll be... Um, All right, now, let's have another go at this, then. <laughs> oh, what fun it all is. And I think, oh, dear, it's going on. I haven't watched it all yet, have we? Or is it repeating it? I think it's repeating, isn't it? Right, stop that. Have we got time? Um, where am I? You've got a quarter of an hour if you want to. I'm just trying to think which bit to go to next. Is that the, how to use Laura? Yes, that's what we want. Oh, that's the that's not what we want, is it? Ah, oh, right. Did the wrong thing. Um, how do I stop that? Got to do, do also stop sharing anyway. Then share screen. It, did, it, did, it, did. it must be that's not that one. No, that's WhatsApp. It's not there at all, is it? So if I go back to hmm, that's interesting. Seem to have lost Desgo. Keeping up with this, uh, everybody. Well, we were, but you actually stopped sharing in the middle of all that. I'm not surprised. Oh, dear. I'm trying to get back to square one. That's the trouble. If I shrink the oh, hub, that's probably a better idea. Ah, I see now where we are. I can see where we are now. Um, because I had full screen, I couldn't see what was happening at the wherever it was. Yeah, so it's I... actually generating something now, isn't it? Uh, well, it's just demonstrating the it's a demonstration program so i was on that so that would get rid of that one and i'll get rid of that one trying to get rid of things we don't need at the moment and then get rid of that one and then we're back to laura i think um yes this is this is where we started from so <laughs> <laughs> We'll try and follow the steps properly. Here is Civita AI. Go back to that. C can you see that program? Or... Yes. So then it wants me to sign in, but I didn't. So what did we He downloaded something, didn't he? Petal AI. Well, here's Laura. Oh. That says Laura, but the others, what? My God. As I say, it's getting more complicated. The system. And these are people who create things. So you can you can nick these posts, I think, and you can read the articles. There's that guy. So he was in the wrong, it was the wrong sort of model, I think. I think we can yeah, use it. You clicked on that and then changed it, didn't you? Yeah, well, that's we've got to start with Laura, you see, I think. The one, this one here, that says Laura. What does that do? Let's hide this model now. Um, and it's got, if we click on that, it should produce this thing on the right. There's this download here, you see, but yes. That's a lot smaller now. Yes, it is. Um, well, we didn't download it. That's what I'm trying to get to. Oh, I see. Click download. Oh, it's coming onto my computer. It's called World Inside Body Safe Tensions or something. <laughs> I click on that. So I've saved that. Oh, um, and I've got to click on this, haven't I? Copy that. Then go back to the program we were on and down to here. So we don't want to get, we'll get rid of that one. And then paste this one in. Looks exactly the same, actually. Um, then we press OK. And then um, da 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 da. Then what do we do now? Well, press run, I suspect. Hmm, but it's got this on there at the moment. Um, yeah, but you haven't run the picture to generate a new picture. No, no, I just wonder if that's the right way to do it. Um, let's just change something here. Let's make that, uh, uh, whatever it is, eight, nine, whatever. Just change it slightly. Um, shall I download this funny thing? No, I don't think I'll bother. Right, click run. It's free at the top. See that? Free. And there's the program. It looks exactly the same. So that... Um, it's just got the same seed number in, Peter. Uh, yes, indeed. Absolutely. Well, let's just change this to a different one of these then. Um, vintage was. Whatever that means. Or just stable diffusion, I think, would be better. So we've got the same vint, uh, seed. Yes, you're quite right. Is that bad? Delete that means... 
Well, if I've chosen a different model, you yeah. should have picked up a different position to start from. Yes, I see the tree on the left here is complete, more or less. Uh, on the other one, it was cut off, wasn't it? Yes, it was. <coughs> My hands got cold. Sitting on top of the mouse, and my hands got cold. <laughs> cool. I think my heat pump's working because it's 25 in this room at the moment. My well, heat pump is switched off, so uh, I get confused about switching it on. It seems to be it seems to have a mind of its own. Sure, it doesn't really. I've just got a remote control thermostat. I can switch mine on from my mobile smartphone. I, get I don't think I can do that with mine. Um, I'll tell you what, though, in spite of the fact it's on most of the time, I'm only using about a tenth of the electricity I was before. Oh. I was using 85 kilowatts a day. It's now gone down to 14 or 15 kilowatts. Well, that picture looks uh, still doing it, isn't it? I thought it was yeah. a the same, but it is, of course, the same, yes. So let me have a look. Um, that's the one to do. I always get very confused on my programming of this. Is it still doing it? Yes. Device list, group list, user manual. <laughs> uh, that's totally different. <laughs> Oh, I think I've switched it. Oh, yes, so it is. So that was using maybe just using the stable diffusion was the difference here, not not the one we put in. True. Unless this enables that in some miraculous way. But if we look at the list here, there's nothing called double whatever it said um, that we had. Is the yeah, I was expecting it to be listed here, but it doesn't seem to be. No. That's a nice sunny day though, isn't it? Right. Growing. Comfort cloud refused. Uh, not now. Right. I think I've switched it on. Oh yes, I've switched my heat heat pump on. By a miracle. So I can't feel anything at all. Um hmm. So there we are. That's um your homework is to have a go at Desgo and see if we can get it to work properly and tell me how it's done. How about that? Would that be a sensible thing to ask? Yep. And then we can move on to something conventional, shall we say, next time. Um, I think that would be a good idea. Yeah, yes, I think it probably would. Uh, poor old June um, is having to struggle here, I think. Is that right, right. June? I, I will have a go. I'm, I'm more of a, a doer than... I'll, I'll have play to... with it until I can get it to work. I'll I'll tell you what, see... though, um, what is the Onward Group? Oh, the Onward Group. I've not... not heard of that one. Oh well, that's oh, you'd like that, I think. Uh, it's a group where I select, uh, have a selection of links to the internet for, on topical things that have happened in the last day or so, <clears throat> and we have a chat. We have a chat discussion. Discuss. This is a discussion group on technical and scientific and ph photographic I think. Oh, okay. And uh, it's things been going... like batteries and uh, the solar system and things like that. Yeah. Le it might oh. be an idea, Peter. You've got the one you've just done. Uh, you could send June that one. Well, yes, I could. The last one we did, because it was only last week. That's I... true. Yes, because I got invited to it, but I didn't realise I'd signed up. Or maybe I hadn't signed up, but... I, I actually I, thought I, I should have done. I just but included. It, I included. Yeah, and I will try and attend if uh, I've got more of more time pressure than I thought I was going to have. But I'll definitely try and attend. But don't please don't wait for me. Um, <laughs> but if you let me know what the timetable is, I'll I'll stick the it in. Table, and... The timetable is on the bottom of my emails. Okay. And um, I didn't realise there was another group. Oh, it's so three groups. Okay, I didn't know that. I only knew about the two. Right. Mm, yes. Okay. okay. Look for that well, then. It's it's time for poor Diana to go to bed. I think. Oh. Yeah, I'm dropping. Oh, what time is it there? 
Oh, it's only nine o'clock, but I've got a cold and I don't oh. feel very well. <laughs> you need to go and get yourself. the right way round, Diana? Pardon? Now I've found Sydney Harbour Bridge, is it the right way round? Oh, it's a different like picture. It. Oh, it's not a different picture. Oh, I couldn't make up my mind which way round it goes. <laughs> I'm yeah, guessing it depends I... which side you're on. <laughs> well, we were we were coming into the we were on the ship on the boat coming into the harbour between the that... bridge and the, um, the opera opera house. So is that the ferry? We were, up, we were, we no, we were, we had a trip. It was like the ferry, though, and it came, it comes the same way as the ferry. Mm. I think it is the wrong way around because the opera house is on the right. Yeah, but you can't see the opera house in that picture at all. No, I know you can't. But maybe you should. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to take it from a different place to see it, wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, I I did some with angles for the angles. Uh, oh, graphic angles. photography. Yes. And you weren't there that day. No, I wasn't. Right. Shall I stop the recording? Why yeah. not? Okay. okay, everybody. Ah, I know what I've seen. Those flags are the same way as they are in the one, the, the picture you get from Sydney Harbour, if you just call up the Sydney Harbour camera. Richard, before you go, I want to show you my latest Lego. Of course. Well, have a look at this. <laughs> go on then. <laughs> oh, that's very pretty. It's Lego. Flowers, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And really? The, oh, that's all. The um, flowers over there are also Lego. And I've got them all around. I've got my daughter keeps giving me flower things to make in Lego. Oh, wow! I'm still I... trying to make the Land Rover powered. Hmm. I'm in great difficulty. I got all the bits, but I can't put it together because there isn't <laughs> a book like there is with those things. It's only on the a picture on the TV or computer, whatever you like to call it, hmm. and they walk you through it. The video, you mean? Yes, yeah, the video, yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Well, I'll stop the recording now, okay?